Waking the Tiger is the new expansion for Hearts of Iron 4. For this expansion, we wanted to focus on the lesser known half of World War II, which is the uh, Asian theater. And the primary focus here is China. To do this, we have made focus trees and fleshed out the whole area for all the Chinese nations as well as Japan. With the Chinese focus tree, we tried to really give a, a proper representation of the Chinese Civil War, which raged between 1911 and 1949. As the nationalists, you have many enemies and many problems. The Japanese are just outside your borders, ready to attack you in your moment of weakness. The communists have set up a base in the heart of your country, and warlords have carved out their own realms at the periphery. And you are tasked with building a modern nation out of nothing. You will have to find foreign allies to help you rebuild your nation, build up your industry and support you in the battles to come. If you play as Manchuko, you may be an emperor but you are not free. The Japanese control your country, they run everything, but you have ways to throw off their rule and become what you were born to be, emperor of all China and claim the mandate of heaven. As the communists, you have just completed the long march. Your only chance is to wage guerrilla warfare and when the time is right, trigger an uprising that will crush the nationalists. To help bring the Chinese uh, struggle to life, we've added two new features. And one of them is the political power struggle, which is uh, all the nations in China uh, can invest in states and gain support from warlords. And, and this will sort of decide who becomes the leader of China in the end. There is also a more aggressive path uh, called border conflicts, where warlords and other nations can, can start not full out wars, but conflicts on borders, which will move territory and give other bonuses to nations.